Man, am I a dumbass. And I'll explain why. But besides that, I got a bunch of new socks, a hamburger for breakfast, and a new book. So why am I a dumbass? Why am I not a dumbass? I'm a dumbass because the last video I made a comment about how this stock fuel rail has delivery holes in it that are smaller than desired and the one that we make has bigger holes in it so when you held the bike wide open for a few seconds this wasn't causing it to lean out. The irony is I forgot that this isn't the weak link, this is the second weak link. This is your weak link. Here's the incoming hole of that stupid little stock inline fuel filter that comes on your bike. I forgot that at the time I'd already replaced this whole assembly with this big fuel filter that I make in the clamp-on style where there's no quick disconnect to hold anything back. There's no stupid little fuel filter to hold anything back. That's why this became the next weak link, but this is your first one. And what is up with this thing? You know, I think back in 2012 when these bikes first came out, because I was working with them then, they had these stupid little filters because it fit into the fuel rail, actually, of the EXC bikes, the four strokes, way up in the fuel rail, but nobody could get to it to change it and they would clog up all the time. So they switched over to this quick disconnect thing but I think they had a, just kind of like a million of these things. And so they continued with this small little filter and put it in here and then you can work with your quick disconnect, right? But when you're out on the trail and your bike starts to run like crap, you've got to get this thing apart. Somehow you've got to pick this thing out. Do you even have a pick? Do you even have a way to get it out? And then they give you seven or 10 of these things in your toolkit. Why? Because they know it's a huge problem and then you're supposed to change it. So what do you say we just get rid of that thing all together, which is what I do. But it's interesting that this is your incoming hole, extremely small, and this hole is smaller than even one of these fuel rail holes. Just look at this pick. You get rid of this whole assembly. My suggestion is you take off this whole quick disconnect assembly because even this quick disconnect part has some fuel flow issues with all its little gateways and holes in it. Plus, it's had a tendency to break too up here at the neck when they get cold. Now, people make metal ones, but they actually flow worse. So what do you say we just scrap this whole assembly and go this route, which is my big clamp on dude. This goes up to the tank. You have big flow all the way to the filter. And then the rest of the line goes from the filter to the fuel rail. I'll show you how it goes together. We'll end up cutting this line and fitting it up. But when you look at the filter, and I had these things made. This is a 20 micron one. It's pleated. It's seven times the size, the surface area of this little guy. So it's not going to clog. It's not going to cause you issues. Obviously, the holes are wide open flower. So this is really what you want. When these start to poop out, get anything in them, your bike actually starts to run funnier on the bottom first it starts to get blubbery and hesitation like you feel the clog pour down there at the very bottom ironically than you do when the thing's more wide open yeah let's go fit this guy up and i gotta do have to say you know i have these things made they're not cheap you know and i'm gonna highly advise against buying crap from china i know china rips me off constantly you know things you could buy on amazon aliexpress uh, ebay but after getting enough phone calls and emails and pics going, hey, your stupid thing blew apart. I go, I didn't even make that. That's that crap that you buy in China. They'll make these things just with one screen right here and they'll blow out of the, uh, the ring here because a lot of times they have a plastic ring on it or it'll fold up because it can't handle the pressure. And these new bikes have higher pressure than the old bikes. Keep that in mind too. So this thing has to be able to withstand some, some pressure. So our pleated area is, it, uh, goes to the incoming fuel that catches the most amount of stuff. And then you just take it out, it's lifelong, blow it out with whatever, your filter's good forever. And you're using Viton O-rings instead of the, just the cheap little uh, Bueno O-rings that uh, the Chinese use where they crack up and the things start leaking. Let's put this dude on now. Installation, if you're gonna use just the simple, uh, regular quick disconnect fuel filter, it's gonna fit like this. You'll use your stock hoses and everything's cool. And it still fits well, it's clean, you can get to it to get off. So, hey, that's super 
good. You know, a lot of people are going that route. Personally, I like the clamp on one better, which has an in and, you know, in and, in and, and out. There's no quick disconnect side, nothing to go wrong, nothing to restrict fuel. And I locate the filter higher up. And I realized that part of that was cut off. So you take this hose that comes with it, go ahead and put it on your fuel rail. On the bikes without the link, uh, without the linkage, I run it on the inside of the air boot. <clears throat> Come up out of your normal hole back here. See where you're gonna wanna put that filter. Look in there. I'll show you pics of how I did it and you can take it from there. Anyhow, make it clean, make it good. Hopefully nothing rubs. You, you take a zip tie to pull something out of the way a little bit to keep things secure so things don't rub. Well, good for you. You're thinking for yourself. Yeah, sometimes that's the kind of stuff you gotta do. Here's my picks, and then, man, you're done. That's pretty rock and roll. That's a small amount of money to save for peace of mind. So you can go riding, not have issues on the trail, run better, not clog up, have to stop and fix things, enjoy your day. Uh, next time I get into some real motor building, excited about that. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. If you can like and subscribe, that helps huge. And boy, I hope you have a fantastic day. All right.